What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP 21 with me, James, and Dougie Decker here. We, uh, we're looking good, boys and girls. Hopefully you caught the last episode. If you didn't, go watch it before I completely ruin it for you. I'll give you, uh, give you two seconds to, uh, to run away from this video. But yeah, we are, uh, last time out, we we're uh, Moto2 champions. We're hey, hey, which is always good. Um, so yeah, there's only one race left of the season. Uh, we're going into Valencia. I'll just do it as a normal race, I guess. I do Unless we do like I did in Moto3 and we just start at the back of the pack and just try and work our way through. I don't know, that was kind of, I don't know. I didn't really enjoy doing that last time. It wasn't really that fun. <laughs> I'll do it like a normal weekend and we'll see what happens. If we're up at the front beating everybody by miles, then maybe I'll drop back a bit and just get a bit of a battle going. But we'll wait and see. Um, so yeah, there's nothing to do. There is technically some engine and uh, frames and electronics and stuff we can do, but there's obviously no point because it's the end of the season. So let's get into Valencia and I'll, uh, I'll see you there in a bit. Here we go, then. three practices are done with. We're uh, topping out the table yet again. Absolutely smashing it as per usual. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, to be honest. I, I didn't do particularly good in practice. I just managed to get one decent lap in a uh, thirty-six point seven. So that's put us at the top. But I think it could be a bit of a um, bit more of a struggle than the last couple of races we've done. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Digi's up there in second as well in practice. So uh, Team Grassini doing doing the business in the uh, the last race of the season. But yeah, we're going straight through the Q two. So let's get into it, and I'll see if I can get on the front row. So we're getting qualifying time around Valencia. See what we can do. We're uh, it's looking a little bit cloudy. The sun has disappeared. Track temperature's down a little bit. I don't know if it's going to make much difference. Oh, we messed it up into the last uh, last corner already. But yeah, going for a um, soft front, medium rear. So see what we can do right there. As I said in uh, practice, I, I put in a good lap, but um, I wasn't that consistent. So let's wait and see what we do in practice in, uh, in qualifying. See if we could be fast for at least one lap. Get a decent uh, decent time in there. Not bad into turn one. It stops into turn two. Whoa, slipping and sliding everywhere. This feels, com <laughs> feels completely different to what it did just now already. I love it when this happens. I say, the weather, I mean, the weather does make a difference in real life, obviously, but ugh, we've gone way wide into the uh, into the gravel right there. I'm going to put this lap in anyway. Let's keep it going. That's going to have lost us a lot of time now, so we're going to have to do another one, I would imagine. Can't see that getting us on the front row. We'll wait and see though, we're obviously up in the first sector. Second sector is going to look a lot worse probably. Let's wait and see what it says. Oh, not that much worse. Blimey, we only lost. Uh, Alright, and we crashed it into turn 8. Awesome. Uh, we're back to crashing in our first lap to qualifying. So, alright, let's do another flying lap then. Right then, flying lap number 2. Let's try it again, shall we? See if we can get some of this time. This bike feels completely different to what it did in practice, which is really annoying, but let's see what we can do. This does not feel the same, but here we go, it's turn one, that was a, not bad, not bad at all. Where did we mess up to now? I think we went wide into, we obviously crashed, but we messed up before that as well, didn't we? Turn two is not bad. What were we aiming for anyway? Digi with a 137.1. What did we do in practice? Was it 136 this time I put in? I think I did. Ooh, bit messy into the turn four. Come on, Dougie, let's put a good show in for the last race of the season. Not bad into there, All right? Getting stopped into six. I like Valencia, it's just very um, very tight and twisty track. It's like a little go-kart track almost. It's not a bad track, but it's just a bit, I don't know, ugh, a bit messy. No long, sort of nice, fast corners. It's all quite tight and, uh, yeah, tight turns and slow corners, really. But we're doing all right. It's just not a bad lap, to be fair. Suck through sector three, so that's probably going to drop us down quite a bit. That's where I was struggling in, uh, in practice as well, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, there we go. We lost pretty much all of our time through sector three, so that's going to be fun in the race. Oh, going wide right there as well. Out on the curbs. Not a brilliant lap. As I said, I was struggling to be consistent. I managed to get one quick lap in practice, but uh, that was about it. Here we go, on to the final straight. I'm kind of glad uh, um, we're not doing a last to, to wherever we can race for Valencia. I don't think I'll be doing too well. Right, where's I going to put sixth place? Oof. And we're out of fuel, so uh, I'm also over the front. All right, I'll uh, I'll take it back to the pits and we'll see where we end up. Here we go. Then. End of qualifying, and we uh, we're down sixth. So this is probably the worst qualifying we've had in a, in a very long time. As I keep saying, I was pretty inconsistent, so uh, I'm not surprised really. 
But yeah, Thomas Lutie, of all people. He's not had a, uh, a good season for a while, but he was obviously up uh, the sharp end for a fair few years in, uh, in Moto2. But yeah, he's taken pole ahead of Yeti and Ben Schneider. And we've got Agura, Fernandez, and us. So um, yeah, Digi's behind us, then Gardner, then Bezeki, and loads of down 12. So all the uh, the top championship contenders are all struggling a bit around Valencia, but I guess maybe we've all given up because we've uh, the championship's over, but who knows. Let's get into the race, and we'll see if we can uh, finish off the season with a nice, uh, a nice podium. Again, race time. We're going to go with uh, two medium tyres. Games recommended mediums, and it is uh, looking like a little bit of a cloudy day around Valencia. So the hards might not be, it might get a little bit too cold on the rear. Or do I put hards in? I don't know. I can't decide. Nah, screw it. Let's go mediums. We'll risk it. We're going from sixth on the grid, as I said already. So uh, Lutie's taking pole. But yeah, sixth on the grid. That's definitely the worst we've done in a while. So we're still going to have to battle our way up a little bit, especially if we get a bad start. But um, here we go. Let's wait and see. Last race of the season. I hope you guys are uh, all enjoyed the series so far. Let's see what we can do. Come on, like mate. Oh, not the. No, that's alright. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Definitely wasn't alright. Terrible start. Alright. Oh, for God's sake. You have to battle back even more positions now. Get the brakes in the turn one. Maybe not that early, though. Just dive underneath a few people. Leave the hammer free for a little bit. Not for too long now. I want to save it for later in the race. Oh, people go underneath us in turn two. Oh, we're in the back of whoever that was. The Yeti, possibly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get it stopped, mate. Get it stopped. There we go, right. No, we're gonna... Fernandez is out? Yeah, probably. Double Fernandez in front of us now. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't start at the back in the uh, round Valencia. We are not doing very well. I thought we were doing all right. I do like this track. It is a little bit, a little bit too tight and twisty for my liking. The corners are all quite slow as well. Not breaking. Ugh. Yeah, we're going to struggle. I can already tell. <laughs> this is going to be a hard race. <laughs> we're going to struggle to get a podium here, I think. Right, we're dropping down to the final turn, and uh, I'm still in seventh. We've not made up any extra places. We've lost one obviously since the start. God, get it stopped, mate, get it stopped. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a slipstream, have a bit of power mode free as well. Tom Lute is still up front with Vietti and Bezeki in front of him. Fernandez's bike is doing that thing that loads are doing, going blue, that blue Mark VDS livery, and it changes when you get near it. It's so random. <laughs> Never mind, we won't worry about that. We won't have to look at that anymore when we move up to MotoGP. Hope you guys are excited to move up into MotoGP with the KTM team. If you uh, obviously saw last episode, you'll know all about that. If you didn't, go watch it. But um, signed up with KTM for our own team, so we're going to have to sort out our own livery and stuff, and our, our leathers and all that, all that jazz. Can't uh, okay, stop me. That's terrible. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that in the next episode. As I said, I think there's some. Uh, you've got to do MotoGP like winter testing almost. So we'll um, we'll do all the livery and stuff, and do the testing in the next episode. Maybe even do the first race in Qatar. Because then at the end of the season, we won't be left with Valencia, I suppose, if we do uh, just one Qatar race with the testing. Wait and see, or let me know what you want to see. But yeah, this is going to be a bit of a short episode this time, just to finish off Moto 2, and then we'll start Moto GP all in, all in one go, instead of uh, splitting it across the two episodes. Was my thinking, at least, anyway. So we'll wait and see. We should get a little, uh, little championship ceremony thing after this uh, little cutscene, hopefully, after this race, though. Obviously, champion last time, mate. Oh, God, here we go. Going wide, on the green, on the curbs. We're losing the front pack. Is it because I know we're champion, I just don't care? Or am I really just struggling this bad around Valencia? What are we doing, mate? In Moto 3, we, we tried to start from the back, didn't we? Or the middle of the pack, I think, in that episode. And we did all right, I think, but not brilliant. Oh, my days. We've got hundreds of guys queuing up behind us. We're so quick on this straight though, or any straight. Like we get, yeah, we're gonna have to work on. What should we work on for uh, for our KTM team? Should we concentrate on the frame, get it turning properly, or should we concentrate on straight line speed? Oh god, we've gone way, way wide into turn two. We're gonna lose any positions? We might. Oh no, we got away with it. Yeah, let me know what you think we should concentrate on for development. Obviously, I think in winter testing you have to pick like a development plan or a pack or something. What I've seen, but uh, yeah, we'll also be doing all that in the next episode, so we'll wait and see. I would like to end this uh, Moto 2 season with a nice podium. Come on, Dougie, get a move on. I'm really struggling, I don't know why. 
just just couldn't find a decent pace around this track. Oh, we're going wide again. I'm really struggling on the brakes. That's what it like. I don't know. So we're gonna get it stopped right at the front, feeling like it's just gonna completely fold in on me. And again, gonna go wide around turn 11. Ooh, and whoever that was. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Was that a Gura? I think it was a Gura just crashed into the side of us. Brilliant. Cheers, buddy. You've uh, bumped us down to 11th now. Oh, we can't finish the season off outside the top 10. This is like the first race of the season all, all over again. That rear really tyre is slipping and sliding everywhere. I'm glad I put a medium in, not a hard. I think that would have been even worse. Or maybe I should have put... Nah, it looks right. It's got plenty of grip left. Don't know. Left-hand side's looking a bit knackered. Right. Let's try and get past a couple of these dudes on the straight. Preferably. Gardner down here as well with Digi. So everyone's struggling. All the big boys are definitely struggling around Valencia. We're about four or six already. Oh, ran into the back of Gardner a little bit there. Oh, well, I might have done that. That might have been me. <laughs> we might have nudged him, uh, nudged him out of the way a little bit there. Whoops. Sorry, dude. Championship's over anyway, mate. I won't worry about it. Don't be mad at me. Wonder if... Um, I'm guessing not. When, when we move up to... No, nah, it would have happened in Motor 3 when it's up. I was going to say, when we move up to MotoGP, does anybody else move up? Do they get rid of any current riders up there? Or, but no. I think it's just the uh, current current boys are up there permanently. Right, at the very least, let's get past Digi and at least be top team member again. Oh, then we're going wide yet again. Back end is slipping and sliding again. Oh, I can't catch him. What is happening? I'm just stuck now in, in eighth place. I don't want to lose any more positions, really. I don't obviously we need to start gaining them, really. But that's not bad into the last corner. That's pretty decent. Power mode three again. See if we can get him on the straight. But yeah, the top six are flying away. Zeki, Luti, and uh, is that Ben Schneider? I don't even know anymore. Looks like they're on the same team though, and they are doing all right. That bike clearly works around uh, around Valencia. Digi's trying to come back at us again. He's going to come underneath me again at turn two, we are expect. Oh, maybe not. Right. Sector one is clearly our best sector. We've caught everybody up a little bit there. See if we can put it together around the rest of the lap for at least this fifth lap. And then we'll have uh, one last chance. Oh, we're on the grass. A little bit on the grass, not too much. The problem is, I've saved a bit of fuel. I'm only really using it down that straight, but it's not really saved us that much fuel. 0.8 laps, so we might be able to get one full lap in, the last lap maybe. Power mode 3, I don't really know if it's going to make any difference to be honest. Come on mate, get it stopped. Not bad, not bad. Oh no, we're going to go wide. Oh, and then we're going to cut this one a bit too early. It mess us up into turn 10, she's probably going to mess us up into turn 11. <laughs> Digi's nudging us out of the way. Again, we're coming up to the last lap. We're going to get past Digi again, but I think, as I said, that top six of six have just disappeared. Not a uh, not a brilliant race around Valencia for us, but what can you do? It's just not not clicking. We uh, gain all sorts of time off the uh, the first corner, and even into the second turn, we're we're not too bad. No, he says as he goes wide out on the curves. So that's going to let them get away. I'll probably let Digi back past again. Maybe not. Not yet. Yeah, I don't know what's happened. Maybe I've just given up. Maybe I know we don't need to win. Do you see that in real life, to be fair? Champions just uh, have a nice chilled last race. Oh, no, I'm turning in way too early there. Right, well, I can't see it happening. I can't see us catching those guys. Let's try and keep Digi behind us at least. At least be top Grassini member. Oh, God. Way, way too hot on turn eight. We're going to be going way wide. The agenda underneath us, no, no, got away a bit. Tell you what, they've not made any mistakes up front. Usually you see at least one of them crash out, but not a single person has crashed yet. Oh, someone's gone wide, is that Fernandez? Again though, we're not going to have enough, uh, not enough corners left to catch him. Oh, especially if we go wide into there, or up on the curves. Back end is stepping out like crazy. Get yeah, it stopped into the final corner, don't let Digi past. Uh, no, we're going wide. That might let it pass, to be fair. Here he comes. <laughs> no, I think we've got away with it. Power mode 3 is going to save us. 
There it is, Valencia. That was terrible. What a terrible end to the season. P six was that? P six? P seven? Exciting race. P seven. Their final lap. Fastest lap, one thirty six point three. But that is not much to uh, not much to write home I, write home about really. But um, there it is. There it is. End of the season is done. We uh, Bezeki took the win ahead of Luti. It was Ben Schneider, uh, Vietti, Fernandez, and Fernandez at the top six. It was us, then Digi, Aaron Canet. We obviously uh, loads down for a team. We obviously knocked Gardner out, so I imagine he's just last or just didn't even finish. Oh, I feel a bit bad. He didn't even finish with Agura. Our other teammate didn't finish either. I'll tell you what I haven't been looking at is the team championship. We've obviously won it out. There we go. Bezeki did close it down to 24 points. However, did we take the team's championship? Yeah, we did. 50, oh, by a fair bit as well, by 50 points. That probably, we probably helped ourselves there by uh, by knocking Digi out of the race. But um, I didn't mean to do it as accident. I promise, I promise. But there it is. That's the end of the season in Moto2. We're obviously champions, which is good. We're going up to MotoGP with KTM, which I'm really looking forward to. Hope you guys are as well. Um, let's see if we get a little cutscene, I suppose. Let's see what happens at the end of this. Here he comes, that little cutscene for Dougie, driving into the garage, not to the, the podium, which is a bit sad. The team are loving it. I feel like this should have happened last race. I feel like they should they need to change that. If you win the championship early, they should probably uh, stick this little cutscene in there a bit earlier. But I'm going to miss this team. It was a decent bike in the end. We, um, we struggled at the beginning of the season, but we've absolutely smashed it towards the end, apart from that last race. Gonna miss the, uh, it was a decent livery and stuff as well. I like that Federal Oil Grissini. I know I'm a bit obsessed with liveries and stuff, but you gotta look good. Even if you're not, you know, even if you don't know what you're doing, if you look good, at least it uh, makes you look a bit quicker. But there we go, there it is. We're gonna head off into the uh, back of the garage. And it's probably gonna cut away to this little uh, helmet scene with the area. All the famous uh, riders' helmets over the years Rossi, Pedroza. We're gonna stick our own Pedroza helmet on there. <laughs> Lorenzo's helmet there. That mirrors, yeah, that's mirrors from last year. And we're gonna bung ours up here again. We've already done it once in Moto3. We've done it again in Moto2. Let's see if we can repeat it in MotoGP. It's gonna be a tough one, but we'll wait and see. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you uh, leave some comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time when we head up to the MotoGP class with KTM Hertz team. Look forward to it. See you later. Cheers. Bye.